the sea Catching fish is where I'll be Come rain or sunny skies I'm gonna grab my fishing line Yes, we're taking out some time That's fishing This has been a fishing tale Just like Jonah and the whale No place I'd rather be Yes, we're casting out a line Everybody's feeling fine That's fishing That's fishing Well, good night. Yeah, that's fishing <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, Zip. Well, welcome to That's Fishing, viewers. On today's show, we'll be showing you catching a great white. What this story is about is when we went out to do flathead fishing with Damien from Wilson's Tackle and we ended up catching a great white. It's quite exciting. I hope you enjoy the show. But Damien, who did we bring along today, mate? Viewers, today we're lucky enough to have Dallas De Silva from Fisheries Victoria DPI. And Dallas is just going to tell us a little bit about what we need to know in the event of an internet or capture with a great white. Welcome to the show, Dallas. Thanks very much. Yeah, so great white sharks are protected in Victoria and nationally. If you do accidentally capture one when you're out there fishing for other species, you are required to release them with minimal possible damage to the shark and as soon as possible. What we say to the anglers is, don't try and bring them on board the boat. That'll cause stress to the animal and obviously yeah. cause some uh, problems for the crew. Keep them alongside the boat in the water. Sever the line as close as possible or as practicable to the shark and let them go immediately. Beautiful. That's fantastic. Well, stand by, watch this, and uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. Lots of fun for me and you, wasn't it, Dame? Hope you enjoy the show. Okay, folks, welcome to That's Fishing. Here we are. We've come out here to do some uh, flathead fishing today with some guys, which I'll introduce you to in a minute. And they put out a Mako rig, and I think, Jeez, how long we're we out here for? Two minutes, guys? Two minutes. Two minutes? No, barely gone in the water. Well, come here, mate. You're a part of the deal. Even though this is a skipper for the day. It's uh, Damien's mate from Wilson Stackle. He talked me into coming out here today. And Con, <laughs> where are we? Uh, we're basically straight out the front of uh, Phillip Island. Uh, we're in 60 metres of water. And we haven't, we're nowhere near where we want to be. <laughs> <laughs> where I thought we'd end up getting one anyway, so. Two minutes we've been here. And we got, we had six rods out, instant panic, hooked up. Colin was good enough to give me the rod today. I didn't hook up, but it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't really matter. the fun part starts now. So, uh, <laughs> it starts from here. So what do we do, mate? Because I've only ever hooked up to one Mako in my life and lost it. Uh, there's a good chance that'll happen uh, more often than not with a big Mako. Yeah. Um, so what, what are we doing here? What we, we just... do now, we want to see how big he is. Uh, by the way, he's, uh, the weight on the rod is going to be a fairly decent fish, uh, so we'll want to see him, see how long, you know, you might be a couple of hours on here, so... Yeah. First we want to see the fish, yeah. Oh, I didn't have any weedies this morning. Well, <laughs> we might have to feed you while we're going. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go folks, welcome to That's Fishing. Uh, it was going to be a flathead story this week, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, welcome to That's Fishing. Makos. Well, we're trying to bring his head up yeah, and so he's, he's off. Yeah, now it's yeah. Yep. And I got it on. I think he's look. He's pretty high up now too. I think. I'm getting instructions as we're going here. So, oh, even the line's going ting, 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 and he's. Yeah. I can feel his head going whack, whack. And what bait did we have on this one? They can't was... uh, This had a uh, full uh, bonito with bonito. a fillet missing. We took a fillet off it and put the rest of it on a double hook rig, 600 pound uh, coated wire. Yep. And uh, this one had a balloon on it too, didn't it? That's correct, yeah. And how, how far in the water did we put the balloon at the uh, at the double, wasn't it? Or the... Yeah, it was about. It was probably about uh, probably about eight meters below the surface. The bait. Yep. Seems the line seems to be coming up higher again. Yep, good. He's real high, definitely. Which is a good sign. Yep. Hopefully do some acrobatics for us. 
Be nice. Oh, didn't like that too much. Good. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just broken the surface there. Yep. So the big belly, how big yeah. the belly is. I missed it, I caught the splash. Yeah. Well, we broke the water once, so that's not a bad sign. That's a good sign, yeah. There we go. Hopefully oh, he can man. do it a bit more and exert some energy. And how big are you estimating this one to be? Uh, like I said, I, I haven't seen him, but yeah, he's, he's going to be well over, easy, well over 100 kilos. 100 kilos? Yeah. I'm impressed. I am too. This is going to cost me a fortune at the pub, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I did not yeah, tell you about you, the deal. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> I can hear, I can hear Damo there licking his lips already, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I better not hang too much. I better not hang too much on him. Yeah. He knows I've got my hands tied, so I'll smack me around the back of the head for you. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't even get line back on him at the moment. It's just every time I go to wine, it just takes another few metres. Big. And he's starting, starting to come up a bit now. I'm learning as we go on the mod, Ed, so it's all new to me. Give him a bit. Yeah, he's real high, mate. I reckon we might even see a fin pretty soon. Well, mate, when this big fish comes in, what do you want me to do? Give us a quick rundown. When he's uh, when he's close, you just basically listen to me. I'll uh, when we get into the point of gaffing, we'll probably have to get you to step back uh, yep. and let Damo and myself do what we got to do at the front here. Right. Um, and when he is up close, I'll get you to back the drag off. Yep. In case uh, we can't manage him and he takes off, you can just take off without causing any damage, so just step back when we tell you to and back the drag off. And listen exactly to what you do. Yeah. Especially if he gets into the foot. When I say back it off, go back to about the three, three there. Yep. So you know. And uh, and just do as we say. Just do as you <laughs> I'm sure with the tone of voice at that time, mate, you, you might have I think I'm going to be told. <laughs> Every scenario is different, so. Yes. You reckon now it's even bigger than what you originally thought? I do, I do. Um, so the ante's going up and up and up? It is, it is. It's half an hour, we've seen one splash out of him and there's a lot of weight in that rod. There is a lot, of, a lot weight. of weight. But I'm really hanging on to this. And that initial uh, run that he did too was, was a good indication too. That bait in one gold. It was a mate. fairly fairly big uh, bait. It's about well, about that big. Yeah, full bonito. Full bonito, yeah. On the uh, double hook rig. So yeah, if you can hoof that in one gold, mate, it's got to be a good fish. Now Mick asked a pretty good question a minute ago. Do you reckon it was a mouth hook or a gut hook? It's just unknown, isn't it? Until you get him. Yeah. Look, the way that he took off. If, I, if I'm going to call, it. if I'm going to call anything, I'll say it's uh, a mouth hook. Yep. Um, and, I, and I dare say you probably have both of them in his mouth. So you'll have one, you know, about a foot down, and the other one uh, up the front. So the body end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the business end, though. Eh? The business end. Yeah. <laughs> Do not touch. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't get any line back at the moment. Mm. Every, every time I wind, it's just not. Right, oh guys, we uh, got him up pretty close to the boat now. Haven't seen him, but uh, he's a bit rough out here. We're all hanging on, and. Not a bit. Con's got me back. <laughs> oh, here we go. Taking line? Not yet, yeah. He's taking some line now. We've taken the ratchet off so it's not as noisy now. So, uh, 
Yeah. Just watch yes. that bait board, eh? Yep, absolutely. Oh. Don't think you like to look at the boat somewhere, mate. Good. Down. Oh, just... Sorry, Bama. Back off a bit. Came up pretty close to the boat that time. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do mate. some. Puff him out a bit. Yeah. I know how you feel, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what are we doing after this? <laughs> I think we can. We're supposed to be here catching flathead. Maybe we'll go in and get some whiting. Yeah, all right. No, we've got no water here. No, we haven't. Serious head shakes on that rod, mate. Oh yeah. Hey. How long have we been fighting the fish now for? Uh, not too. Hour and 15. Well guys, an hour and 15 minutes and we're still going. And this big fish does not want to come up. I'll take the ratchet off again. Yeah. Oops. Get that technique. I'm not falling over. No. Definitely up high, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. Surprised we haven't seen a fin. Just don't know where he is. Yeah, you can just see the shadow, can't yeah. you? I don't know, I'm puffing or adrenaline pumping. Especially <laughs> <laughs> now that you've seen him. Yeah. Now an hour and a half, and we're still fighting. We've, we've seen his shadow, so he's a pretty big fish. But how big, how big, we don't know. I'm trying to get as much line in as possible. Oh, there's a double, so he's not too far near. So we, we can see doubles. And the wind on. A oh, little bit right. So he must be awfully close. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Well, we've nearly got the uh, the double up onto the line. Right, I mean. Almost. Almost. We're like feet away. Oh, I think that might be a, a white. white. That's a big are, are, are fish. You, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing what you're seeing. I, I think we've got a uh, great white on, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We're still allowed to catch him as long as they go, as long as they look. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. You, you get, get him on this side, mate. No, I'm serious, mate. Coming up to the surface. He's nearly breaking the surface. Yep. I think your mako's are white underneath anyway, aren't they? There he goes, he's coming that way. Yeah, they are, but um, the mako's are a lot darker too. Alright, you get ready to come over here now, mate. Yep. There, there he is, is. tail's well, out. We'll see now, mate, what he is. Alright, Dana, you can turn this way now. You got him on your side now, so you can see what we need to do. No, uh, no, definitely not. Yeah. Oh, 
You, know, you can see him, Damo? Yep. Don't know, mate. But the colour looked grey. Grey and white. Yeah. You know, it yeah doubles he's on. right. Got doubles on. He's right here. See that, Mick? Yep. He's a big fish. Just stand back a bit, mate. Let yeah, me see sorry. if I can lift him up with the... Alright. Come on. Oh! You've got to be careful. You want me to back drag just, off? Just wind. Yeah, back it off a bit. What is it, yeah. mate? Well, stay tuned until after the break, guys, when we bring the big white up to the side of the boat. It's really, really good. I sure am. Mate. You sure? Yep. Yeah, he's nervous. I'm trying to be natural. You trying? Yes. Well, this is Alex, guys, <laughs> from Prestige Fishing. And why am I here? From That's Fishing. I am That's Fishing. <laughs> what are we doing here? We tackle talk. Tackle about talk the about product. Right. And, and um, you're going to tell me about some shark traces that you uh, loaned us, the catch, which you've you been watching on our show. Yes. And which one are we going to start off with today? There's all sorts of different sizes. All right. And how um, do we buy them? We buy them in a packet. There's a couple of different yep, ways of buying them, isn't there? Yep, there is. The double shark trace rig that comes with two 12 o hooks, 400 pound 12 foot trace, 7 by 7 coated wire. Um, that's one of them. Comes in packaged. Then you'll get ones that actually come in, in a package like this, which consists of a wind with a suitable PF game snap, a double trace, to, uh, two 12 o hooks, or a single circle. So you can actually interchange them as you wish, what you want to fish with. Um, they're all uh, pre-rigged, double crimped, um, quality is next to none, there's no shortcuts taken in making it, and it's all handmade here by myself, and the ladies help of course. Now I hope all this has been helpful, and um, explained clearly as how things are made and used, and if you want to know more about it, you can go to... That's fishing. Fishing.com.au. <laughs> 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 and follow the link. Here we go. Nearly got doubles now. Yep. Oh, Short wines see. now, mate. Short wines now. Get him up. Can you get close to there, Mick? Can you feel me? What about the sun? Straight in. Can you see him in the screen? Hang on, mate. I'll try and just turn. Turn. You're going to try to turn. No, I'll back the drag back off, mate. Drag just off. make sure the drag's yep, backed the drag off. Yeah, drag off. Not off, off. Down to three. Yeah, down to three. All right, just hold, right just take, take yeah, that bit of... Yeah, the sun's in my way. Oh, yours. Yeah, just mate, take that. I just want to get the wire right. Yeah. Holding yeah. here, mate. Oop. Right under. Right. And what we're doing here is we're trying to get the fish back up to the side of the boat to uh, cut the trace and let him go. Uh, we've been targeting Mako's all day today. Well, this morning, I should say. <laughs> it's been all day yet, has it? No. And uh, here he comes. He's coming up close. All right. Because uh, we did not target a great white today. So I'm ready, Damo. Film it down back there. Off, right? Back it off, back it off. I'll oh, back drag off, yep. Alright. Okay, here he is. He's coming to the surface. Oi. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. fish. 
Whoa. Oh, look at that. Where's my camera now? Right. Yep, sorry. He's right here. All right, just keep filming him. There's a little burst. Alright. Go. <sighs> what a <laughs> ripper of a fish, mate. Well done, mate. That's <laughs> awesome. Well done, mate. Thank you. That was a good hey. what, two hours? Two hours, so two hours on the fish. Great white. We'll let him go to live another day because we're not allowed to catch him. But we didn't target him. So we brought him up, let him go, and now it's these guys to have a go. <laughs> so, bud. Two hours on the money, mate. Two mate. Thank you. My pleasure. That's the colonel. I'm buggered. I'm going to have a snooze now until after the break. <laughs> <laughs> the boat's not big enough. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Yeah. There you go. Well, guys, what do you think of that? It was a pretty big fish. It scared the pants off of me, and we had a ball doing it. For a show that was meant to be a flathead show, well, you can see what we've done. Now, we got the fish really up close to the boat. We've cut the wire trace off. There was no gaffs, no ropes, no nothing, and the fish swum away completely out without any harm whatsoever. Apart from the fact it's got really big teeth and I didn't want anything to do with it. And uh, your mate, Con, mate, he, he, seriously, he needs a big medal for getting his hand down there, cutting that wire trace. He but was... we've done the right thing, haven't we? We really That's what you guys really want us to do, don't mm -hmm. you? That's right. Yep. Yep. So just one other quick one. Um, we encourage the anglers to report any incidental captures of great white sharks. Uh, it is useful information. CSIRO and the Victorian Department of Sustainability and Environment uh, require this information to help manage great white sharks so we encourage anglers to report that to this uh, email address that's coming up on screen. So guys do the right thing these guys are the good guys if you catch one report it it's fantastic it's really good and we're doing all the right things. Certainly are. So I'm the Colonel from That's Fishing until next week. <laughs>